Listen up. Getting a hearing aid that works for you takes more than just taking a hearing test. Dr. Burt Brown is here to sound off on the best ways to make you hear what you've been missing. Dr. Brown is an ear, nose, and throat doctor and the owner of Physician Hearing Centers. So welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So what's wrong with having a hearing test to figure out what's wrong with your hearing? Well, there's nothing wrong with that at all. In fact, a lot of people should get a hearing test and they don't think they need one. And part of that reason is when our hearing goes down, uh, we just don't realize it. So what we do sometimes is avoid those situations where we need to use the hearing when we're not able to quite hear. So a lot of times it's a family member or a friend to say you're not hearing and that, then it's time to get a hearing test. Or even if you yourself think, you know, I'm not quite hearing stuff right. Get a hearing test. Let's find out. Okay. But besides a hearing test, is there, are there other tests that are necessary? Well, uh, in misconception, there's more to hearing than just the hearing apparatus itself. Uh, if you think about it, it's a sensory organ, it interacts with the brain. So, no, the hearing test itself will determine if you have hearing loss, but one thing we do in our office coming from a physician standpoint is I, I look at the whole patient. Because when you hear something, it goes to the brain, the brain interprets it and sends it back out. And so you need to look at the whole person to say, not only do they have hearing loss, but are there other factors that might be getting away of their hearing properly? It's also where they have hearing loss and where they're going to be needing to hear and things like that too, right? I mean, it's not, uh, you're not in a soundproof booth when you're out in real life, so. Correct. It's very important when you first see someone to find out where are you having a problem or what's the problems because uh, it's those needs that really determine when you get go further on if you indeed have hearing loss what kind of hearing aid you need and how does it need to be set up to fit your own individual situation okay well I know that hearing aids are really high-tech everything is really high-tech these days so can't you just make your own adjustments once you have them yeah and that's one of the things that's happened in recent years because hearing aids are digital now so you basically, in the digital age, you plug the hearing aid into the computer, you've had your hearing test or audiogram, and then the computer will adjust the hearing aid to directly match your hearing test. Hmm. And so a lot of people think, well, anyone can do that. I, I mean, I could do that. I just plug it in. But actually, it's missing the big piece, like I told you. This is a sensory organ. You have to interact in the real world. And although you get that initial setting, it's the fine settings of that not only picking out the right hearing aid, but then taking that hearing aid in those initial settings and adjusting them so they really fit what that person needs. Okay, so people would need to come back in sometimes for tweaks, right? Correct. Whenever you uh, first get a, a hearing aid to fit to you, you do what's called the first fit. And then we'll typically see people back at two, four, and six weeks to see how they're doing and see what the problems are. Sometimes they come in, they're fine, but other times it takes some more subtle things. Okay, and so, I, and people can't keep coming in and coming in, and you can't follow them around tweaking things as necessary for different environments. So do you have a method in your office for, for determining how they'll really hear in the real world and well, adjusting for that? Exactly. One thing I developed, uh, along with my audiologist, we actually have a team approach, is what we have um, called the Sound Experience Room Fitting System. And what we have is a separate room, and this is really one of the first of its kind in the country, with a high-definition TV and surround round sound. And then we'll talk to the person and say, well, where do you have a problem? Do you have a problem at a restaurant? Well, we'll put a, even a restaurant scene from a movie you can put okay. on. Or they have restaurant sound clips. They have the surround sound. They say, well, it bugs me when people are talking behind me. Well, let's put some voices behind. So by using this room, uh, it's taken us much further to really mimic what they're having in the real world. And so not only are they getting the hearing aid fitting in the quiet room where everything seems perfect, but they're getting it in the situations that they're going to have to encounter. Yeah, it sounds like you and your team really take care of the, the patients that come to see you, so it sounds fantastic. Yeah, we do. We take a lot of uh, special pride in our team approach where the doctor works with the audiologist, because really, the audiologists are the expert in the hearing aid. Mm -hmm. If I tried to fit them, they kind of laugh at me. I tell people <laughs> too much. Um, but by looking at the person as a whole and combining our knowledge together, we really are able to do something that really most of the other places are not capable of doing. Well, that's fantastic. So you want your hearing aid to work its best, not just in the exam room, but out in the, in the world, your world. To find out more, give Dr. Brown a call. The number's coming up next. Find out more by calling Physicians Hearing Centers at 440-461-0150 or visit their website, www.physicianhearingcenters.com.